Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Ita. To my returning subscribers, thank you for your continuous support. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right underneath this video and be part of this community. Also, I have finally gotten the green light to place ads on my videos. So if you do see an ad on my videos, please do not skip it. Support your sister, I beg you. If you want to know other ways to support this channel, check my video description box for more information. Today, I'm gonna to go ahead and give you the latest update on the National Visa Center and the USCIS. So let's get started. As of February 16, 2021, the National Visa Center stated that they are working on cases received from the USCIS on February 8, 2021. They are reviewing documents that you submitted to them on November 16, 2020. Furthermore, they are responding to emails that you sent them on February 6, 2021. Now let's move on to the latest National Visa Center news. If you haven't already known, the executive order that placed a ban on immigrant visas will be terminated on March 31st, 2021. I know this is very frustrating for many of you, but just continue to be patient. I promise you, you will see the light at the end of the tunnel. K-1 visa applicants were also affected by this executive order because they are not considered to be spouses of US citizens. Although some are protesting in the US District Court for the application to be expedited or processed. When it comes to case processing, US citizens, spouses, and children under 21 years of age are considered priority cases. The Muslim travel ban was lifted by President Biden on day one, January 21st, 2021. Now, if you were affected by the Muslim ban and your application was denied because of it, here's what you need to do. You need to go ahead and file a new DS-260 visa application or DS-160 visa application. Pay your visa processing fees and resubmit all your documents again. If a decision wasn't made on your case as of yet, your case will continue as normal. Furthermore, you may be eligible for a refund if you recently filed Form I-864W, which is an Affidavit of Support form. Form I-864W was recently eliminated from government use. So if you were required to fill it out, you are no longer required to do so or pay the fees. Now, if you were not required to submit form I-864W, but you still went ahead and paid the fees, you may be eligible for a refund. Now, the fees must be paid on or before February 24, 2020. Here are the requirements.
on to the latest USCIS update. Recently, President Biden went ahead and reinstated deed, which means defer enforce departure for Liberian refugees, which will provide work authorizations for them until June 30th, 2022. The USCIS also went ahead and extended the flexibility when responding to application requests to 60 days before making a decision. Some of these requests include requests for more evidence, motion to reopen case, and so on. Now this applies from March 1st, 2020 to March 31st, 2021. And lastly, the USCIS stated that they will open the registration cap for H-1B applicants for the year 2022. Now this registration period will open on March 9th, 2021 and ends on March 25th, noontime 2021. So if you are planning to work in the US and your employer is petitioning for you, inform them now that, that this is the right time to go ahead and sign up. The fee is $10 to register. Potential applicants will be randomly selected and petitioners will be notified by March 31st, 2021 via my USCIS account. For 2021, the USCIS stated that they have reached the 65,000 mandated cap for H-1B applicants. Employers will be notified any moment now whether they are selected or not. And they will continue to accept and process applications that are exempt from the H-1B cap. Now here are some reasons why you may be exempt from the H-1B cap. resources and information in the video description box so if you have any questions go ahead and comment down below and I will try my best to assist you make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already share this video give it a thumbs up and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss another video from me Thank you for watching Eda's Corner and I will see you next time. Bye now.